guys so a lot of you have requested me to make a process on how to get into Delhi University and I am a student of Delhi University so I thought that would be a good idea to make a video on it now um, before we get started make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell button that's how you'll get notified whenever I post something new let's just get started the first question is what is Delhi University now I'm pretty sure you know what it is that you've clicked in this video but if you're not really sure um, Delhi University is basically one of the biggest universities in India and all over the world um, I suppose it ranks around 500 something in the entire world which is like not bad for an Indian Institute and it's one of the highest regarded universities in India so it is a huge university with so many colleges inside of it um, some of the names that you might have heard are SRCC LRC uh, KMC then Hindu College and so many others so uh, yeah that's what Delhi University is now the next question is um, Samridhi, how do I get into DU? Like, what is the criteria for it? So there are two ways by which you can get into DU, which is Delhi University. Um, now, the very first way and the most regarded way, most well-known way is through merit admissions, which means your 12th final board exam marks. Um, now, how this thing works is uh, your top four uh, subjects marks are calculated so suppose for me this is just a th hypothetical example for me the top subjects are English maths commerce uh, like business studies and um, economics so four subjects will be calculated now how this is calculated is basically they take one of your languages that you have studied and plus three other subjects so uh, a language has to be there which was compulsory in your board exams it could be either English or it could be Hindi depending on what you have studied which medium you went to English plus three other subjects now these three other subjects have to be uh, the subjects that you are going to study in the future uh, for me suppose um, I ha I want to study like um, like commerce so what will the subjects be for me now the subjects for me would be um, and business studies and accountancy these are my top three subjects or it could be maths now there are two categories of subjects that are there if you choose your subjects within these categories displayed right here on the screen there will be no marks deduction and you would simply be calculated and given a percentage or based on your top four so if your academic subjects that you have chosen as your top three other than your language does not fall into this category then there will be a deduction of 1.5 percent yes it's a lot now suppose you chose two subjects which are not under this category then there will be deduction of 1.5 plus 1.5 but basically Delhi University calculates that for you once you have entered all of the details into their system. Now the second way of entering the university is through entrance examination. Now I filled up the form for entrance examination but due to COVID I could not go there and give it because it was not online it was offline you had to go there and then you could get selected. Um, this is not the most like widely regarded method not very people use it it's not very beneficial but if you um, like think you do not have a chance merit wise your exams haven't happened yet so you can still improve your marks in the final examination but just in case if you think that you know what uh, maybe I can give it a shot or something you could also fill up the form for entrance which is always an option and after all this is done after you have filled all of the forms and stuff then comes the cutoffs which means um, the list and the marks will be displayed of the colleges that is the entrance criteria so last year for uh, lady shriram the cutoff was the highest it was 100 percent for um, for a few of the programs i guess uh, so it was 99 and 100 percent so you needed to have 100 percent marks to get into uh, lady shriram which is insane i mean <laughs> you needed to have 100 percent marks in four subjects if you had 100 in all four of them like the four that you chose you could get admitted into it so there's of course a lot of cutoffs not just one and with each cutoff the percentage actually decreases but the seats also get closed so suppose in the first cutoff the ranking for the colleges were different and uh, the seats were the seats are limited so you have to be quite like quick and just take an admission in the college which you are getting into in the first cutoff itself and later on you can actually change it so suppose the cutoff as i told that the cutoff for lady shriram was 100 percent in the first 
list but in the second list it fell down to like what 99% and then in the third list 98% but the seats are limited and they get filled up very very quickly and last year I guess around 5 lakh or something students got admitted to Delhi University 4 or 5 lakh I'm not really sure about the numbers right now but there were a lot of students it was the highest number till now and the seats got filled up after the first cutoff itself so very limited colleges have the seats open after that now uh, how to choose your college you have must have heard about like north colleges north campus and south campus uh, my college that I'm into it's the Delhi College of Arts and Commerce it's a call like as the name suggests it's uh, commerce and arts college and uh, it's the south campus one now many people say that the north campus ones are better yeah for the most part yeah it's true the north campus college are uh, a little better than the south campus is one but doesn't matter like some good camp now some good colleges are also in the south campus as well so um, the campus does not matter the college matters basically how to choose your college uh, do a little research about how your seniors went into so my cousin went into Delhi College of Arts and Commerce and I thought I knew about it already and I felt like it was a good like college for me to go to that's why I got the admission in the first cut off itself and I was like you know what choose it right now and then later on if I get good colleges I could simply go there I also like um, had the option in the first cut off for Gargi College and for Indraprast College but um, the subjects that I wanted to study were like not maths basically and I was only getting admission into maths so therefore I did not chose it some people are also not sure about the subjects they want to choose they just want to get into Delhi University so if you are one of those people there's no problem you can simply wait for the day till the cutoff comes and then you can choose the subjects according to your will now the next category we need to talk about is caste certificates and extracurriculars last year the extracurriculars uh, certificates were like cancelled I don't think they were given a privilege or something any of that e ECW so uh, last year that was cancelled off I'm pretty sure that would happen this year too because of the coronavirus no one actually went to school but for the caste certificate if you fall under the category of SC, ST or OBCs then you do get a special recognition and I think Kashmiri uh, people also have a certain category and economically weaker section so if you fall under this category then there's a separate like um, thing for you uh, by which the final cutoff like the final cutoff that is there so suppose the first cutoff uh, I remember for Lady Shri Ram last year it was 100% for the general category but for different categories it was all different so I guess for the uh, scheduled caste it was 99 or 98 and when the, for the scheduled tribes it was even less and then for the economically weaker section it was also a little different now uh, people ask me what minimum percentage do I need to get into Delhi University now to be brutally honest with you the last year the lowest per percentage that it went to top four subjects was 87 percent that was and it was for Aditi Mahavidyalaya so um, yeah it was a completely girls college and that's also a thing like if I go into a girls college will I be deprived of like the equality or something like that is co-education really important no actually girls college is also really fun my one of my cousins went to a girls college Dolatram and she said that her experience was really really good so there's nothing like that if you're getting into a a girls only college then that's totally fine and it's really good and you should definitely take your admission into it now the expected percentage that needs to be there is uh, you should at least have 90% in your top four uh, percentage or else it will be very very hard to get into Delhi University uh, for each year it's very different last year it was very very competitive and I'm pretty sure this year it will be very competitive too because the people who are who wanted to study abroad couldn't actually go so they'll eventually go into Delhi University and um, yeah there's a lot of competition basically so the higher you score the better chances you have of getting into your dream college so if you want to get into SRCC if that is your goal then then I think below 99% you shouldn't consider getting below that because you would probably not get admitted into it so keep your target 99% if you want to get into uh, like 
SRCC. Now, what is the registration process? So the registration process is quite simple. The forms are out and then you need to simply fill the forms, fill in your details. You need to add your documents, sign them and then add them. So it's a very, very simple process and the website is pretty clear. It's really easy. I'll still put the links to the videos in the description box below, which tell you the entire process of it. So it's pretty simple. You can do it on your own. The next part is what is the fees? Delhi University is one of the cheapest universities in India because it's a government college. Uh, so the fees is from I guess 8,000 it starts from 8,000 per year the fees is very very affordable it's just that low to help all of the people out there and it's a government call so it's definitely on the cheaper side so it begins from 8,000 I guess the maximum that I have seen is 15,000 that was in Gargi College but I guess it's a little more maybe 35,000 but not more than that it's less than 50,000 per year so it's very very affordable and the fees is not that much and you also get scholarships which can apply for it next year now once you have got into Delhi University um, you should should you be joining the clubs and stuff I will make a video on that if you guys want me to about the other things like the fest and stuff which happens in the colleges so thank you so much for watching I'll put all of the resources down in the description so you can check them out and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell if you have any questions make sure that you DM me on my Instagram or you can email me on my ID right over here which is here on the screen make sure you follow me on my Instagram check it out and uh, maybe you will be my junior next year we'll meet in the college thank you so much for watching bye